Hello, Anna, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, how was your day? Fine. Fine. Everything is fine. It's great. I like when I, I I like when I see you Anna because I like your headset. <laughs> you like my headset? Yes. <laughs> I think Anna comes to play in, in English class. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Yes. I give you those. But they sound good. You you have good volume. Yes. Yes. Very good. But it's too hot. The because they're very uh -huh. tight, right? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. but the That's why you need the air conditioner. Perfect. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, air conditioner <laughs> in the room. Yeah. Yes. So, what did you do today, Anna? Well, um, uh, I get up uh, to. I got it. Got up. Uh, to around five. Okay. Mm -hmm. I went to my work and, and I don't know, I it's a, a, a day very strange because everything is going to be uh, slowly and boring. I have to do how do you say orden de compra? Purchase orders. What? Purchase? Purchase orders. Oh, okay. Correct. Purchase, Purchase orders, orders. Uh, to, to buy uh, some uh, equip, equip for equipment. Equipment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, for the headsets. So, yes. Some new headsets. <laughs> no, <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> uh, yes, but everything is gonna be fine. Okay. And then I I get, get to my home to six o'clock. The traffic was fluid. The traffic was fluid. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. I came. Okay, so pretty easy day. Yes, pretty easy day. Okay, good. Good. How about you, Maria? How was your day? Good. This was good. I only work in the morning because in the afternoon I, I have another, I don't know to say, compromisos. Engagements. I had. Engagements. I okay. had. I had engagement. Other mm -hmm. engagements. Okay. Okay. It was good. Yes. Thank okay. you. Okay. Good. Good. All right. So then, that's the first thing that we're gonna do. Similar to what I'm doing with Vilma and Maria, we're going to talk with your partners. Uh, how was your day? What did you do? The important is to feel natural. Remember, that's the purpose of it, right? Uh, the purpose of us to speak a little bit of English and talk about our day is to feel normal. Hey, hey where did you go? Uh, what did you eat? Uh, did you cook it? Did you prepare it? Hey, is this your favorite food? Or is this a typical day? Was this unusual? Just this, just a normal conversation like with your partners. Thanks. Okay. Before we begin, are there any questions? No? All right, then let's just take a few minutes. Let's have a, uh, six minutes and then we can begin with our partners. Okay.
Ana, you okay? Anna Byron, go ahead, join the groups. Anna, you okay? Can you join the group yes. or no? Yes? No, I'm not. No, you want me to? No. Okay. All right, let me send you to another group. Maybe you had problems joining the group. Okay. Okay.
Okay, I see everybody is back. Great. Were there any questions, any words that you're not sure that you wanted to say and you forgot how to say them? How do you say flema? Flem. Flem. Mm -hmm. And moco. Uh, <laughs> boogers. 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 Mm -hmm. okay, it's almost you? like Burger King, like burger, but no R, no R, only boogers. Boogers. Mm -hmm. okay. How do you say, teacher, how do you say um, infección en la garganta? You can say an infection, a throat infection. Mm -hmm. Throat infection. Teacher? Yes. How do you say calificar? Uh, exam? Great. It's grade. You grade an exam. Great, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Um, I, I have a question. Um, in the church, we have, uh, I don't know how do you say hermanos, but not in, in the church. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't know how do you say. How do you say in Spanish, the hermanos that are not in the church? Hermano. Exactly. The same. <laughs> it's the same. Really? Uh, oh. Because it doesn't. Uh huh. Oh, okay. It's, this is a this is a, a a Spanish this or a, a Spanish expression because there is no there is no other way. It's just your brother. Uh -huh. oh, really? Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, I you. in a moment I think about the Godfather like uh, padrino. Yeah, that is correct. Godfather is padrino. I, yes. I, I, I was going to say like uh, Godbrothers. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh huh. But no, okay. Uh huh. Is a different. Uh huh. Because Godfathers or, or Godparents is a different function. Mm. And me, I was thinking about sibling. <laughs> Uh -huh. siblings, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teacher, good day. Hello, good evening, Elisa. How are you? <laughs> um, I'm feeling better. <laughs> okay, good, good. Teacher, uh, how do you say uh, um the plural of nephews and nieces? With S, that is correct. Nephews. And no, nieces. but look, you you. You want to say uh, sobrinos, but in, in uh, include girls and boys. Correct. Like, uh, That's why nephews and nieces. Yeah, but when you say I have uh, brothers and sisters, you can say siblings. Correct. In, in this case, not exist the plural. Yes, nephews is the plural. Nieces is yeah. the plural. I know. But I, I, I say, if no, there exists uh, one word for, for a plural of sobrinos. No, no, no. That's why, because okay. sobrinos doesn't exist. Okay. It's nephews and nieces. nieces. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Only nephews and nieces. Okay. Okay, good. Any other questions? No. No. Sir? Yes, I have. Ah, yes, Maria. Um, I, I was talking with Error, and he's a teacher. Um, but I don't know how do you say rubrica when the, he he's working in in the uh, after the job, working after the job. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I, I got confused with rubrica. What, okay. what is that? What does that? Um, it's, I don't know about the signature. No. No, it's, it's a, a rubric. Uh, rubric is an instrument for evaluation. Right, but I, I don't think, yes, right. But that's that's a rubrics, but I don't think, I'm not sure if that's what Maria means or, or is that what you mean, Maria? 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I don't understand that, but I, I heard about the teachers prepare. The ah, okay, yes, yes, yes. I, I wasn't sure because uh, I think in Spanish, if I am correct, rubica, rubi, rubrica is two, right? Rubric. Like uh, rubrics, a rubric. Okay. okay. The one that is, for example, here in the chat. Okay, that's a rubric. Okay. Ah, okay. This rubric is for grading. Um, and I, I, I wasn't sure if you meant like, uh, uh, maybe I'm, I'm confused in Spanish with, with the rubrica for uh, uh, the health or science or engineering. This is okay. another, this one is field. Oh, field. Uh -huh. Yes, this it's is like field. a file okay. that you fill okay. in Excel that you prepare for the grades and everything or not? Or there is another thing? The rubric, the first one, yes. Yeah. This is the one for the grades and the exams and the evaluation. Okay. And the, and the field is the same writing um, for Excel, but only a different meaning. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. So, for example, uh, you said you were speaking with Ever, right, Maria? Yes. Okay. So Ever has, it's a little bit, that's why it's different, because Ever can say, <laughs> hey, Ever, what do you work in? Oh, I work in the education field. This means maybe he's a teacher, maybe he's an administrator, maybe he's a tutor, maybe, but he works in this area, in this rubric, like in Spanish, right? But in English, just this field. Sure, okay. Mm -hmm. Or financial okay. field, financial field or uh, con uh, building. Economical field, yes, that's Economical right. field, yes. Okay. That's right, that's, how, that's the area. Sometimes for maybe for a doctor, nurses, or somebody, these are the health field, health field. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, they were they were teach technology first. Yes. I remember. I remember. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. That he he works in technology. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. All right. Good. Anybody else? Any other questions? No. Okay, perfect. I like the fact that you guys are using, and this is why it's important for our practicing, our speaking, so that we are comfortable. There are many words that we use every day, and sometimes we forget. Ah, even for, hey, for example, I say, hey, Alexander, hey, hey, how do you eat a soup? And you say, ay, como se dice cuchara? And you forget and the typical word. And I say, hey, what, what happened, Alex? It's because we don't have, we learn new vocabulary, but we forget to practice the common vocabulary. We forget to practice our normal verbs in past tense. I ate, I drank, I saw, I wrote, I watched, I listened. All of these are the normal verbs that you have to have mastered because these are normal. This is not special. These are basic ones, okay? Okay, well, today I'm going to show you a little bit of what we're going to see. Uh, first, we're going to take a look at in what is going to be in the exam, okay? Mm -hmm. So our exam is from units one, one through three. So what do we have in units one through three? We can see we have five sections. We have A, B, C, D, and E. Section A is listening, okay? The best way to do the listening is first we have two parts, okay? So what you want to do is one part by, how do you do it? First, you read the question, you read the options for each one, one, two, three, four, right? Then you listen to it. After you listen, while, while you are listening, you answer the questions, okay? If you feel comfortable, you can go to part two. If you are not sure, you listen again, listen two times. So read, read the, read the answers, listen, then listen again and check your answers. Okay, see if you want to change. And then you go to part two and do the same thing in part two. You read first, listen, and then listen again to check your answers. 
And then you submit the answers. This is part one, listening, right? Section A. In section B, we have rewriting sentences. That means that you take that sentence and you have to put the sentence using the word by, okay? We're going to make the sentence so, as an example, Prince recorded the song Purple Rain. Ah, so we start with the passive focus on the topic. The song Purple Rain was recorded by Prince. You see, you need to add the verb to be and you need to add the word by, okay? So the same for the others. Make sure that you add the missing words, okay? In the second part of rewrite the sentences is join the two sentences like we practiced yesterday using who, that, or which. These are the parts that we're going to match together, okay? In part C, you're going to complete it. You read it and you complete each one, okay? What do you think is the best word, the best choice? The same for part two, okay? And this part, we have three. So we have part one, part two, that we have the selection, but part three, no. In part three, you have to write the word. How are you going to write the word? You decide if it's with ing or if it's with ed. Remember, this is when we talked about feelings and things. For example, I am excited. The movie is exciting. That was this part, okay? That is when we're talking about that part, the ed and the ing endings. And the next part, part D, ah, this one is easy because only you read and then you select what is the correct word, okay? What are they talking about? So you read and only choose. You don't have to write or make a mistake or anything there. You only read and select. And the last part is you need time for to read. Read carefully. Look at the information. Make sure that you understand. If you don't know the word, look for the word. Look up in Google. It's okay. Make sure that you understand the word. Make sure you understand the, the concepts. And then where are you going to have? Like yesterday's reading, okay? What are you going to answer to each of those? Okay. Any questions about the exam part A, B, C, or D? No. No. Good. No. Okay. All right. Before we before we continue, first, who did not who did not finish lesson one, two, or three in the platform? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Alex, teacher. no. Alex, you didn't oh. finish. That, no, number three. Number three. I didn't didn't finish. Finish. I have a number three. Okay. Uh -huh. I not finish number three. Okay, hang on a sec. Let me make I am, sure. I am only three, two. Okay. I have not finished number three, two. Okay. Can I didn't you... finish no, number three, two. All right, let's see. Okay. Let me try to eliminate some. Okay. Alex, you said you didn't finish number three, right? Yes. Okay, Francis. I, I don't finish. No. I don't okay. No problem. No. no problem. Francisco, did you finish number three? Yes, I finished. Okay. Who didn't? Who else said they didn't finish number three? Uh, I finished that. The middle. No, no. Who did not? Ever, ever. You did not finish number three, right? No, no. Not okay. finish. I am in three eleven. Okay, wait. Who's who's? I did not finish. Elisa, you. Elsa, yeah. Elsa, sorry, sorry. I am Elsa. in 3.11. No problem, no problem, Elsa. Hang on. Okay. All right, Elsa. Okay. Me too, teacher. One moment, number four. Okay. Rafa, you didn't, right? Yep, I didn't. Okay, Rafa did not. Okay. And I think, and ever, ever was the owner. Okay. Let me make sure. Okay, and ever. But it's a teacher, but is it because we got, uh, didn't have time uh, these last two weeks? But, uh, no, no, don't uh, worry. Is that the important is that I'm going to make groups. 
but I want to put the people together to work together. So for example, okay. if Alex and you didn't finish three, I put you together in the same group. That way you can finish unit three. But if Francisco and uh, Maria finish unit three, I put together so they can work on the exam together. The idea is to work together to complete the activities. Okay, so let me make sure. Elsa, Ever, Francisco and Rafa, only the four didn't finish unit three. Anyone else? Me. Uh, who's me? Anna. Anna, Anna. Okay, okay, no problem, Anna. I put you in also into the group. That way. Me too. Omar, Omar too? Okay. Okay. Give me a I, I have a question. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, the number three, just the last part, uh, no finish. The last part. Only the last part. Yes, only the last part, nothing. Okay, no problem, no problem. We fix in just a moment, okay. Okay. Don't worry, we're going to make sure that the groups are not too big, but that way we can advance. Okay, so let me see. And there, okay. So what we're going to do is a, we're going to have a, two groups of three. Those are the ones that did not finish unit three. The ones that did not finish unit three are going to be together in two groups, three and three. The other people are going to be with a partner. With your partner, the idea is to work together and complete the unit test, all of the sections, A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> Sorry, A, B, C, D, E, the five sections. And why? Because the last time, the, in the last course, if you remember, some people, they didn't have time and they took a long time. And then maybe one week later, they were doing the exam or almost, almost two weeks later. And I don't want that to happen. I want you to advance. I want you to pass with no stress. No, I, 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 no, terminé. I, I, no, no, no. I want you to do it correctly. So in this moment, we make the groups, the groups that did not finish unit three, finish unit three. If you finish, begin the exam. If you finish unit three, begin the exam. The ones that finish unit three, immediately you begin with your partner working on the exams, okay? Okay. All right, let's make the groups. All right, let's work.
No. Not okay. right, yes, it's a problem with our sound. Hi, teacher. Do you have any questions? We have a problem with uh, this conversation because uh, click on the button. Click in the in the little arrow for opening the box. Yes. Here. Yes. And that will solve the problem for the audio. Okay. I don't know why, but it's is the solution. Okay. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. I try to uh, uh, advance. City with more. twenty thousand people. It's okay. the largest monument in southern Africa. So, what happened to the city? No one really knows. I guess it's still a mystery. 
three. Welcome back. So how was Easter Island? I've never been anywhere like it. It's unique. What's so special about it? Well, first of all, it's very remote. Chile and Tahiti are over 3,000 kilometers away, but it's known mainly for the giant statues. Oh, yeah. I've seen photos of them. They were built by Polynesians who arrived Maybe we would. Hey, do you guys have any questions? Is everything okay? Thank you, teacher. Just right now, I was wondering to my partners how to pronounce this word. Pyramids. Is Pyramids. That right? Pyramids. 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 Yes, okay. Pyramids. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Ever. Any other questions? Any, any problems or anything? No, uh, this this, uh, country, this country, this country, uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. That's correct, Zimbabwe. 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 Okay. Now uh, the three of us, uh, we finished the lesson three. Now hey. we have Excellent. If you finish uh, yeah. unit three, lesson three, then you can begin the exam. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right now. Excellent. Okay. okay. I let you listen. Uh, Good job. Just, just one question more. To yes, ever. Uh, in, in this, uh, in, in, in this question, I don't know if you can see, uh, Chile or Chile or, or how? Chile. Chile. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tahiti. No, Tahiti. Tahiti. Mm -hmm. Tahiti. That's Tahiri. right. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Only that? Yes, teacher. Okay. I think. Go ahead and listen and answer the questions then. Yes. Okay.
Hey, Byron, what is the question? Hi, teacher. Uh, actually, we we are still on the on this on the midterm on the exam, but it's on the section letter B for re re rewriting the sentence and and I think or we are confusing or we are not doing well because I was trying to uh, add it the the sentences and sending the information, but it said that it's wrong. If you can maybe just give us a little uh, explanation or for the first one that is for George Lucas directed the Star Wars movie. Okay, uh, perfect, no problem. And uh, tell me, Byron, what did you put as an, your answer? What do you and Carla think is the answer? Yeah, um, I'm going to tell you right now. Just give me one minute. The Star Wars. I put it as the Star Wars movie was directed by George Lucas. Okay. That is correct, Byron. Really? Yes. Okay, I don't know why I did it got wrong. <laughs> maybe you didn't put in the capital letters. Maybe you didn't put in the period. Maybe you didn't start the sentence with a capital letter. There... Uh, that was what I was going to ask. Uh, do I need to put like the period at the end or there is going to be some, some points or, or something? You have to put a period because it has to be in correct grammar structure. Oh, that may be what's. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like the same for the other one that I got wrong. It's maybe, for the same. maybe, but all of them have to have the correct grammar, the, the correct punctuation. Oh, okay. Try okay. it, Byron, and try, try number one and tell me. Oh, just give me one. Second. Okay. Send it. It's still, it's it's giving me like I got the wrong answer. Well, the, share the screen, error. Byron. Let's take a look. Okay. I am my phone. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. No problem, Byron. This one. Okay. The Star Wars. Okay. Movie. Was directed. By George Lucas. And the period at the end. Yeah, that's right. I don't know why I would give it to you wrong. Um, let me see. Do you have two spaces? Maybe you have a space at the beginning? Uh, yeah, I uh, was. Erase. It's correct, the, the Star Wars. Yeah. Or it is. only Star Wars. No, no, it's correct, the Star Wars. Oh, okay, okay. And Movie before, is. And before uh, the word the, is there a space, Byron? No, uh, but what it movie. said, Anna. The here it said on the on the original sentence it said movies. Oh, movies, with S. movies with s. Yes, yes. Is the it's original plural. movie has to be with s. Oh, uh, maybe that was the mistake. Yes, because the, it's plural. He made many movies. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it again. No. Okay, the it's Star Wars that. movies because no was no was the Star Wars movies. You have to change for where. Remember. The was for was singular. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. now, now it's what? movies. So now we need to put were. Oh yeah. Where? Okay. Uh, now, okay. Okay. Now try it. Directed. Were directed by. Directed George. by, yes.
Uh, still. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what I, I have wrong. This Where? Let me. How did you spell directed? Let's take a look. D R I E C T E. We're directed by. Yeah, we're directed by George Lucas. I think George G O R G E L U C A. Yes, is it correct? Mm -hmm. Is it correct for you now? No, oh, yeah. No, yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> sir. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay. I let you. Remember, be careful with the punctuation. That is the, usually the biggest mistake, the punctuation. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yeah. You're welcome. Anna, you having problems?
Okay, guys, I hope that that helped you and your partners to understand a little bit better and to practice the vocabulary and to try to advance a little bit more, okay? Don't, if you didn't finish, it's okay, don't worry. Uh, remember, okay. that we have the platform, that way you can work after class, you can work tomorrow, but the idea is to complete, to continue, continue going so that we finish the exam this week, okay? tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, Yay. have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, see you tomorrow bye. bye. See you, bye. Bye, bye. bye. bye, guys. Thank you, bye. good night to bye. everybody. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.